Hello, and welcome to this workshop video all about my gratitude journal and how to successfully start your own. As I started this entire month of just being grateful and mindful, I knew that keeping a gratitude journal was going to be really, really important in documenting and truly, truly experiencing the gratitude to the best of my abilities. I truly think that keeping a gratitude journal really improved my overall awareness, my mood, and my gratitude towards myself and others and my life in general. I definitely think that it's something everyone should keep, even if you don't write in it every single day. This is my gratitude journal. It's actually just a sketchbook that I had from like eighth grade and it has blank pages except the ones that I've written on. I liked the size a lot. You can use literally any notebook or sketchbook that you want to use but I would recommend making it something that makes you excited to write in. So this isn't really an exciting cover but I really really love the quality of the paper. It feels really good and I love the blankness. If you like writing with lined paper or a certain pen then you should do whatever makes you feel the most grateful to be writing in your gratitude journal. As you are writing in your gratitude journal I would highly encourage you to consider quality and not quantity and really really think about depth. I read an article that said writing in depth about one thing is way more effective than writing just a list of things you're grateful for. I love writing lists of things that I'm grateful for but after a month of this really really in-depth gratitude writing I totally believe that it is way more helpful and also when you're reading back the true reasons why you appreciate the things that you're writing about I think that it really helps you feel more grateful and it spurs those thoughts of gratitude and that true feeling of appreciation way faster and way deeper in the moment than just looking at a list of things that you're grateful for. Because it's easy to write a list, but to truly identify what in each thing makes you grateful and makes you feel happy about your life, I think it's unmatchable. I would definitely say for your gratitude journal, make it something that's fun to write in and make it aesthetically pleasing for you. So I usually have like the word that I'm writing about in the middle and then I write all around it. You can't really see on this page. I have a page for my body and I took a little torn piece of paper and put it on here and then wrote around it. Here I wrote about music and again I have the big word and then words around it. Here I have another page that I had already written that I put in and then more writing around it. Yours does not have to be scrapbooky like this. I think that you should just make it as aesthetically pleasing for you as it can be and something that you love to fill out and to write in. I would recommend taking a week or a month even where you dedicate time each day to write in your gratitude journal and I promise you it will make you so much more aware aware of your surroundings, aware of your life, aware of your body, and emanate gratitude through the world. I think that during this month where I truly took time to think about gratitude and think about what I was grateful for, so much happiness flowed into my life. I truly believe that this gratitude journal was an enormous part of that. Good luck on creating your gratitude journal. Definitely let me know if you do and how it helps you out. I also want to say that when I am feeling frustrated, nothing cheers me up faster than listing five things that I'm grateful for and why. I've actually forced some of my friends to do this before when they're complaining about something I'll say, wait, name five things you're grateful for and why? And they begrudgingly are pretty pissed at me at first, but then they do it and I think that it helps. At least they pretend it does. Maybe it's just to make me stop talking. It helps me if I'm in a moment of frustration to just quickly think, what are five things I'm grateful for and why? The why is so important because again, it's easy to list things, but to say why really, really gets you into that true mindset. Also, if you have a friend that you're frustrated with, why are you grateful for them? Why are they in your life in the first place? And that'll help you assess the people in your life too. Why are you grateful for them? Why are you grateful for the things in your life? Figure it out! Okay, I think that this is what I have to say on the topic of gratitude. Gratitude is just like one of the most important things in the entire world. It helps you vibrate at a higher frequency. It helps you attract what you want into your life and it's just like the best thing ever. So gratitude is great. Good luck on your gratitude journey and with your journal, go do something that makes you happy. Go tell someone you're grateful for them. I'll see you in my next video. Okay, bye.